This is the S&P 500 one day reading for September 21st, 2022. It's currently August 15th, 2022, 2.08 p.m. That's Eastern time. And the overall theme for the day is a move higher along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance to meet a secondary resistance and then pull back somewhere between those two price levels with a little bit of a dip there. Um, it looks like there's a prominent um, high as well or prominent crest here. When I look at the one month overview, we're looking at the 21st Queen of Cups. Yeah, so some fluctuations here, some real fluctuations here. Queen of Cups is a congruency um, on, the one, on the one month overview. Uh, so Queen of Cups energy is like uh, two declines with an incline in between. Queen of Cups energy, or Queen of uh, uh, Wands energy is like a move higher with a little bit of a pullback after breaking through resistance. Um, the behavior around the high, so um, there, there's gonna be three crisscrosses through the same price level that um, confirm a high for the, uh, for the day, or they confirm a bullish trend. However, that's not really gonna stand being that that's where the high is. Um, and then there's a trade opportunity around the day's low. There's a notable move um, to or from the day's low, there's a notable move and, and we'll know the low when we have some sideways rotation um, that ends with a fast sudden move to the upside. Um, I'm advised to trade around the beginning of a rally and in the pre-market, I may have had a trade that I started the prior day that's carrying over into today, uh, into the 21st. Based on what I'm seeing here, this is a reverse clairvoyant anchor. But in any case, in the pre-market, there's a notable move to the upside. Um, looks like we probably we probably opened lower than we closed the prior day, and there's a notable move to the upside out of oversold territory or to fill a gap down. Um, that's uh, also probably a, a, a like a, a, a trough in there in the in the pre-market, but right at the open, there is a, a the end of a, the completion of a bullish trend. It looks like um, there's an opportunity in there to open up some protection. In the midst of this move, there's like a, there's like a move higher and then a move back down um, bet between 9.30 and 11 o'clock. And between 10 and 11, we should see a sideways S formation between two horizontal price levels, a horizontal resistance and a horizontal support. We should see a decline, an incline, and then a decline again between roughly, well, let's say between the open and 11 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, we're gonna have a, uh, a minor crest or it could be a, 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 like a temporary day's high, more, more like a prominent crest here uh, between 11 and 12 closer to 11 and from that crest we will sell down to and through a support level um, there's a trade opportunity down there below the support level um, and then we'll move back up and reuse that support level as support um, we revisit a past problem around noon time um, and there may be a, a bit of a flight to safety around noon time and then a prominent move higher on a one day chart it'll stand out between roughly two and three followed by a sideways fluctuation starting around two o'clock that will it'll, it'll have a bearish trend to it preceding a day but preceding a rally so from two o'clock into the close there should be sideways fluctuations with a bearish trend may may pick up um may pick up uh momentum to the downside uh as we move towards the close but right at the right at the close there's a prominent move higher off of a low um, there's a prominent move to the upside, marking an opportunity to open up a, a short position or protect against long positions. In the post market, we have rotation along a support level. We rise to meet the nearest resistance and then fall back down to meet that support level and re rotate alongside it again. Sneak preview card for the following day is the oppression card. Oof, the oppression card. Let me take a look at my notes. We open lower. I think we open lower the following day. So for the 22nd. And guys, that's the S&P 500 for September 21st, 2002. Let me know if you like this sort of thing by hitting that like button. Guys, if you're joining on TikTok, I'm getting to your questions. Just give me one minute. I'm taking, I'm recording about four minute videos for YouTube and in between I'm taking questions. So just be patient, I will get to you. 
Um, and so, guys, when you make money from this reading, remember the, the rule of karma we've got here, 10% tithing, right? So take 5% of that, pay it forward, help somebody out, surprise them, make them happy, right? Take 5% of that, send it to the cash app, Cap Reveb. Show some gratitude, my friends, for all the free work we're doing. This takes all day and a lifestyle that requires very few people in it, you know? So send it back my way, help the team build. Um, and then with that 90, that remaining 90%, do what you gotta do with it, man. Just make sure it's out of money, or it's out of love. Do what you gotta do with the money out of love. <laughs> so, you know, as long as you do it out of love, the universe is gonna send it back to you in all forms, including money in all directions. Just make sure you're brave enough to do it out of love, always out of love. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.